What is going on guys? Welcome to my Kartra tutorial. So today we're going to be going over everything you need to know about Kartra and showing you the ins and outs of the software so you can become an expert of Kartra and really use it for your business to get the best results possible. So that's what this video is going to be all about. We're going to be giving you a thorough Kartra tutorial right here and if you want to get a trial of Kartra anytime during the video, I will leave a link at the top of the video description down below where you can get a dollar trial for Kartra 14 days because I really want you to get a feel for the Kartra software and use it for your sell first time. But with all that being said, let's begin today's Kartra tutorial. Okay, so to begin this Kartra tutorial, I want to show you a couple of things before we actually begin so you can really capitalize and make the most of Kartra. So first of all, if you go over here to Kartra vs Training Portal on the top right hand column right here, you can click on this and Kartra vs is pretty much separated into two courses, all right? So there's two courses. The first one's going to be the Kartra and Training Program, which is going to teach you how you can actually use and master Kartra to an absolute T, all right? And the second training program right here, Kartra Academy, is going to show you how you can actually implement Kartra and start like running marketing campaigns and leveraging their done for you funnels and start doing your email marketing so this is going to be teaching you how you can do the marketing aspect of your business using Kartra this is going to be teaching you how you can you know do all the technical stuff and start using Kartra and how it all works right and if we go to support right here if you ever have any questions or concerns you can always look up the Kartra wiki right here and you can like find a lot of your answers and problems like right here and if you still need like help or some sort of like support you can always contact them and submit like a support ticket or even contact them live because they do have a live chat sometimes that's actually available now if we exit out of that the first thing you want to do inside of Kartra is set up your integration when I add some integrations to your Kartra software you can do that here so for an example if we go over here you can add payment integrations membership integrations email integrations SMS integrations hub integrations and calendar integrations so probably the first thing you want to do is add payment integrations so you want to integrate like PayPal Stripe Braintree or authorized net so you can actually accept payments for your products and that leads me to the next thing you want to create your products right here in the my product section and this is where you'll be are going to be able to create your products this is where you're going to be able to manage your affiliates so you can pay out your affiliates and see how much money they're earning and this is going to be your analytics we can see all that data as well so that's going to be where you create your products and all of this is integrated with each other by the way so all of these tools are integrated with each other which is why you actually see this unique metric right here usd revenue because Kartra is actually showing you the amount of sales you're making from your email marketing alone because all these um, products right here instead of Kartra are integrated with each other right now if we go to my communications this is obviously going to be your email marketing him where you can collect leads and build an autoresponder and all that type of stuff because Kartra has their own inbuilt email marketing system. Now, if you go to my pages, this is where we're going to be creating our pages. And so what we're going to do now is go over to my forms and we're going to be creating an opt-in form that we can integrate within our pages. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. So let's go ahead and click on my form. Let's put in the name. So let's put in Kartra form. All right, create. So as you can see, we have the option to like capture the first name or the email address. So we can always delete this if we don't want it. So let's just click on that and we can add a new field if you want to actually add like for an example, a first name, a middle name, a last name, a last name too. So let's just click on cancel, but let's click on save because we just want to collect the emails. We have the single opt-in or the double opt-in option. So let's just leave it as single opt-in, click on save. This is going to be the thank you page after someone like signs up to your email. So let's click on culture pages and integrate a page. So let's just like send it to this page as an example and send them to the upsell as an example so you can collect someone's email address and then you can send them to an upsell page after that right so let's click on save here and then we'll click on save and next to go on to the next step now here we have the option to send a welcome email to your subscribers so once they actually subscribe so you can go ahead and do that or we can just like save it and leave it the way it is and not send any welcome email if you don't want to so let's just leave it the way it is for now for an example click on save and next to go to the automations so we have a lot of different automations you can set up here so assign tags subscribe to list subscribe to sequences and advanced automations so again just to keep this tutorial nice and simple let's click on save and next all right, so form design, where are you planning to display this form? So since we're using Kartra, we'll keep this on the Kartra pages. So let's just leave it the way it is. Click on save and click on save and next. And there we go. We just created our form that we can integrate inside of Kartra pages, which I'm going to be showing you right now. So now that we've done that, we can go to my forms over here. We have the Kartra form here that we just created right now. And if we go to my pages, let's go ahead and create a new page right now. So we can either choose a page and make it from scratch. So this is going to be a blank canvas right here. So we can just literally design a page instead of Kartra from scratch using their inbuilt page editor, or we can choose a bunch of their templates right off the bat, which makes life just a little bit more easier. So let's go ahead and choose one of these squeeze page templates and let's go ahead and use this one right here this looks pretty nice so let's click on select and we're going to click on launch builder and we'll have to give our page name again a name so let's call it cartridge demo 4 
and select category and click on create to create our new page inside of culture and let's integrate our form together live okay so we are inside of the culture page editor and as you can see this is our template so let's go ahead and click on assets on this page and as you can see we can integrate our opt-in form by clicking on the pending right here so we can click on select opt-in form we can click on the culture form which we just created just a moment ago right and we can click on culture form and click on apply and there you go our squeeze page can start collecting leads because our form we just created just before is integrated with our page inside of Kartra and we can do the same thing with video because obviously in this template has a video so it becomes some sort of video that's going to get people to like subscribe to our email so we can go over here and click on a video so that's how we integrate our form so let's go ahead and start using the page editor and really start customizing this to make it our own right so the first thing you want to master inside of Kartra is their columns and their components all right and there's different modes so for an example if you select on columns you can only select on the actual columns inside of Kartra themselves so you won't be able to actually mess with the components inside of the columns so for an example if we click on component mode right here we're not going to be able to like mess with the columns so we're actually going to be able to add the components inside of the columns so as you can see we can add the text we can add the pictures and all that type of stuff all the icons because these are the components inside of the elements so again like the blue is the columns right here and the orange is the components inside of the columns all right and if you want to have a look of your squeeze page or your page inside of like tablet you can go ahead and click on tablet you can go ahead and look on mobile to so see what it looks like while you're editing your pages and again you can do all of that right here on the top column and so let's go ahead and actually add the text right here so we have the option to drag and drop this so we can just move it like right here if we go here we just moved our headline and we can always undo this if we don't like that and if we go over here we can clone this and we can always delete our clone by clicking on delete and if we go over here to add text we can add a text right here so demo tutorial there we go and again we can always click on undo but let's just leave it the way it is for now another cool feature to make a life a bit more easier is to click on show columns right here so you can actually see the columns and then you can see the components inside of the columns right here so you can always turn that off as well and if we go over here to settings this is where you're going to be messing around with your seo parameters your tracking codes your tags and your page redirects same with styles right here you can mess with the page width and all that type of stuff let's go over to sections right here and we can actually add pre-built sections inside of our pages so for example like if you want to add some sort of like features like a features checklist you can literally just drag and drop this and you have like a unique pre-built section inside of your page so look at this guys like isn't that pretty cool in other sale funnel builders like you only can like add components inside of your pages and you have to like build sections by yourself but inside of culture you can just literally drag and drop sections into your pages like right off the bat and it's pretty cool let's take a look at some of the other pre-built sections we can add inside of culture we can add countdown pre-built sections if we go over here we can add pricing tables if you have like a sales page you can just add this to your page so I can even just do this right here and we can add a pre-built section with our product name and we can always just add this right here so if we go to add text we can put in our name so for example let's just say it's our product name obviously it isn't so we can go ahead and actually delete this pre-built section by clicking on delete and yes we'll click on delete here we can do the same with this right here click on delete but yeah, you can add pre-built sections to your pages right off the bat inside of Kartra. So this is actually exclusive inside of Kartra only. I've yet to see any other sales funnel builder implement this to their own sales funnel builders. So this is very unique. You can add testimonials as well. So if you want social proof, you can always do that. And if we go to components, this is pretty much what you can actually add inside of your columns. So if you want to add some sort of headline, we can go ahead and add a headline. So we can choose from a variety of different headlines that um, they have in stock. So we can choose this headline right here and we can just drag and drop this right here so there you go we have a headline and we can always undo that if we don't like it so there's lots of different headlines we can choose from right off the bat um, same with text button so if we click on the buttons right here we have lots of different buttons we can choose from that are very unique so we can always do the same thing with our mock-up compositions so if you have like a product and you want to make it look like really professional and add your graphics to like a mobile or ipad view like this you can always just choose one of these templates so there's lots of different like mock-up compositions you could choose from right off the bat so there you go we can add like mock-up compositions we can add icons so there's lots of different icons we can choose right off the bat so there's lots of different ones we can choose there so we can choose boxes countdown timers as well so if we go over here countdown timers and you can use these to increase your conversions and add scarcity to your offers so those are the components inside of culture now you can also mess around with the pop-up window so if you want to activate pop-up window you can click on activate right here and you can like choose from a variety of different templates right here look at this like drag and drop subscribe and get news and you can actually integrate your form so if you want to integrate your form right here you can go ahead and do that so if we go to assets right here opt-in form 
Let's just add a form to this and we can go to Kartra form and apply. And there you go, it's all set up now. So we can collect emails from our pop-up window and from our main squeeze page. So we can also add folder bars to our funnels. So let's click on done. And what we can do is go to folder bar and we can add like a folder bar to our funnel where they can go ahead and see that. You can also add a help desk to your squeeze pages and your pages. So you can click on apply and this is gonna be pretty much replacing like a Zendesk. So when people go on your squeeze page, they can go to the bottom right hand corner and they can like request for some sort of like help or some sort of support ticket or anything like that, right? And you can mess around with the code here. And yeah, you can, there's lots of different things we can do inside of Kaltra. So that's pretty much like a high level overview of what you can actually do inside of Kaltra's page editor. So it's pretty cool, right? So if you all ever wanna actually like go ahead and publish this, we can go ahead and publish live. So as you can see, we're publishing the page. So anyone with the URL can get a link to this. So let's click on get the page a link. And there you go, we have a unique link of the page and we can always add the URL so that it's gonna be like, for example, demo. And we can click on save URL and we can add custom domains to our Kaltra account as well. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And there you go. We, let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. Let's click on go to this URL. And this is what our funnel is going to look live. Again, this looks pretty all right. What I should have done is like added some like product examples here of our own products. And if we go down here, there can obviously, you know, opt in right here. And if we try to leave, it's going to come up with the pop-up window. So that's pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead and exit out of that. We can always save these pages as a template, save our progress, which I will always recommend doing. And yeah, we can return to dashboard if we're finished. So let's go ahead and click on return to dashboard and we'll click on exit. Now, if you want to add custom domains to your funnels, you can go to your profile right here, click on custom domains and just click on this new custom Custom domain thing and you can add your custom domains right here it's pretty simple so only the main domain right here and yeah you can do that right here inside of here and you can add a favor column here as well if you wish so that's what you do in regards to adding your custom domains to your culture account so let's go ahead and go back to the culture dashboard right here another thing i wanted to mention in this culture tutorial is that if we go to my campaigns right here we can actually leverage a bunch of done for you campaigns inside of culture already built by frank kern himself so if we get to done for you campaigns right here literally we have a book funnel a quick launch funnel designed by frank kern you know and frank kern is a very well-known mark and i'm sure a lot of you guys know who frank kern already is but he's a multi-millionaire and you're pretty much going to be modeling his success using his done for you funnels, right? So you can definitely model that inside of Kaltra as well. Go to my help desk right here. This is where you can actually manage your help desk. So when people go to your pages, they can see the support icon right here down below on your own pages where they can submit a support ticket and you can reply back to them, right? So you can manage all of this right here. Go to my calendars real quick. You can schedule and organize appointments with your clients right here. It's very simple to use as well. This is actually integrates with Google Calendar as well as of now. And if we go to my videos right here, you can offer obviously upload your videos to culture so instead of hosting your videos on youtube where people can like share the urls and stuff you can literally just host it in culture and have your videos only watchable on your pages right or in your membership areas which we go over here you can create your membership area inside of culture as well if we go over here to create a new membership site i'll show you some of the features you can do inside of your membership site so let's just put in an example name real quick click on create and if we go over here we should be taken to a page where we can set up our membership site. So the first thing you want to do is actually name our membership site right here inside of Kartra. So just leave it as it is and we'll put an external URL here. So for example, if your site was a.com and that was your sales page, you want to actually redirect your people to go to your membership login page to your sales page if they haven't already purchased already. So for the people that go on your login page, you haven't purchased, there'll be an option for them to click and go to your sales promotion page where they can actually purchase access to your membership site. All right, so we'll click on save and next. And what I want to show real quick is the page builder inside of Kartra. So this is going to be your membership page builder. So I wanted to really just quickly go over that in today's tutorial and show you some of the features that you can actually do. So first thing you want to do over here is put in your logo. So this is actually a proper logo, but for your business logo, you just want to upload it here. So if you want to add sections to your course, so let's just say you have an online marketing course and you have different sections. So for one section, you can have like a, you know, section teaching people how to make money on YouTube. So you can put in a section right here called YouTube. I can't spell today, so YouTube, there we go. Click on save. And if we add another section right here for, let's just say Google AdWords, you can put in the section right here for Google AdWords. All right. So you can have like different sections of your course all in line right here. You can add a host, banner, a product. So you can have like sidebar icons for your course to really make it look nice. So if we go over here to new post, we can actually add a post for our particular category. So for example, if we wanted to have like a welcome video inside of our YouTube category, we can put in the description right here and click on save. So it's under the YouTube category right here. So what we can do is put in the headline right here for our post right here inside of YouTube. So we can put in right here, welcome to our YouTube course all right 
and we can put in text. Now, actually, let's put in a video. So you probably want to add like some sort of video for your courses. So we can put in like a Kartra video, for example. We can go over here and just select that. And we can just select this one right here and that will do. Okay, so what we can do here is also add some images and some features that will make it look a little bit more cleaner. So for example, we can add a checklist box right here. So for example, in our course, we can like demonstrate some of the steps I need to take. We can put in an important box. So maybe you want to like really make it clear that this course is for your eyes only. So please don't share this to the public. So you can say that here. You can add the text, obviously. You can do the same with this. You can always add the text. You can add some banners right here, so you can drop a banner right here. You can upload an image and that will appear right here. Add a product right here if you want to sell a product. So you can go to your products and you can, you know, create a product right there. You can hover over a product, add a product if you want to as well. If you're a host, you want to put in the name here. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, there you go. Now, if you have a profile picture, you can always add that here. But you can pretty much, you know, have your picture here and your name here to really like, make it look professional inside of your membership area. So those are some of the things you can do when it comes to like building your membership area inside of Kartra. So let's go ahead and exit out of this and go back to the main dashboard. Just wanted to give you like a quick overview of how that all works. And yeah, we pretty much went over everything in today's video. Like I wanted to give you like a higher level overview of how all this all works. And most importantly, I wanted you to create your first page inside of Kartra and your first sales funnel. So you can start getting a live so you can start selling your products and so you can start collecting leads as soon as possible right but with that being said thanks for watching today's video i hope you gained a lot of value from it and again if you want to get a trial of culture for only one dollar so you can really test it out because again i want you to really have a feel for the software before you make a decision on whether or not it's going to be right for you long term then click the top link down below and you'll be able to get a trial of culture straight away there'll be a lot more information down below in the video description regarding all of that but with that being said thanks for watching today's video and yeah peace out